Consumer spending jumped a record 8% in May, but as America reopens, President Trump is wanting to ensure that Americans are the ones to reap the benefits. This week, his administration said it was because of the virus that it needed to extend a ban on immigration to protect U.S. jobs and suspend certain work visas through the end of the year. It's a move that's impacting families seeking child care through au pair program, pra, programs. Rather. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers explains how families are being affected. A summer at home has brought a twinkle of joy into Rochelle Ritt's house in Lee's Summit. And now it is my drawing room slash office. But the biochemical engineer has had a busy work schedule lately. She's working on a team that's developing a COVID-19 vaccine for distribution. We have projects going on across the country and my time is very critical right now. A house full of playful kids isn't always the best work environment. Homeschooling the kids and teaching while working um, was a little bit hectic. But until recently, Ritz had a helping hand. An au pair from Brazil her family met through a cultural exchange program that places live-in nannies looking for experience in the States. She was able to help with the kids and keeping them busy and doing crafts and face painting and just really um, interacting with them to kind of keep them off of screen. But this summer, their au pair left for another job in Pennsylvania. The Ritz matched with another woman who was supposed to start in June. And the first few delays were due to COVID and travel bans, and, and that's understandable. But earlier this week, the Trump administration also suspended several types of new visas, including J-1 workers like au pairs. Now we are in a bit of a crunch for child care. Her family is one of dozens in the KC area who may have to wait until January. It's troubling for all our families. Tatiana Alvagard works with Au Pair Care, a matching agency that works with local families from all walks of life. This is a very reliable source of child care for them. She says Au Pair programs are cultural exchanges, different from hiring foreign workers. The industry is pushing the government to review the decision in the next month. Hopefully people understand the importance and the, the money this program actually brings into the U.S. economy. Um, it doesn't take away jobs, that's by law. The Ritz are getting some help from their neighbor for now, but they may be looking for help again once the school year starts, especially for their twins, one of whom has type 1 diabetes. Parents are really up against a lot of different um, struggles right now, and I just want people to try to, you know, help one another. Cultural exchanges like this one help families balance work with childcare, especially during a time where both are different than usual. Lee Summit, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.